What's up you guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome to a new video and this story happened when I was in second grade so we're taking a real long trip back to memory lane if you know what I mean and um, in second grade back when I was there it was a lot different. There was three teachers you would get either depending on which um, uh, it was just like depending on how good you were at a certain subject like for, I don't know, reading. If you were good at reading, then you would get um, one teacher. If you were okay at reading, then you would get another. And if you were and if you're bad at reading, you get another. So that's what it worked. And also, when I was in the class, like, I was in um, the Mrs. I don't know. I'm not going to say her real name. Mrs. Taco. I'll just name her Mrs. Taco. So Mrs. Taco was... Um, the teacher I had, and if you misbehaved in Mrs. Taco's class, then what you would do is you'd have to go to the teacher uh, in another room's class, and you'd have to sit there as punishment, I guess, and vice versa. If you were bad in the, the, that that teacher's class, then you'd have to go to Mrs. Taco's class. So this teacher, um, I'm not going to say his name, I'll name him Mr. Crap, because he was a piece of crap, and... <coughs> ugh. Everybody always said they loved that teacher for some reason, some fucking crazy ass reason there and there's like he was the best teacher ever and I was like I hated him why the hell do you call him the best teacher ever I don't understand people always thought he was an amazing teacher and I thought he was horrible he was an asshole he was pretty crazy and I was thinking that teacher had something wrong with him or whatever cause first of all this happened and in second grade we all got a field trip to go to the zoo just like I always remember that was my favorite field trip back in those days. You would, like, pack your fucking school lunch before, and you would leave the clothes, like, on the bed. I imagine being that successful, that excited about life. I kind of miss it now. These days, now I'm just excited and I'm, to wake up and hope I don't, I'm not dead when I wake up and, anyway, and shit. But anyway, um, we go there, and there was a bathroom. I get to be with one of my friends, and it was one of my first field trips that my mom got to go with. And back then, that was cool, but now if my mom was on a field trip, it'd be kind of embarrassing. But back then, when I did that, I went to the bathroom and, and with one of my friends, and the teacher was yelling at me for going to the bathroom. He was like, what are you fucking doing? I'm like, um, I'm going to the bathroom. He's like, you better get the fuck out of there. What are you doing? You're going to get in trouble, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm fucking taking a piss. What the hell do you want from me, you dickweed? And then my mom ended up yelling at the teacher, and the teacher was all like, oh, what are you doing? You can't be doing shit like that. And I don't know why the teacher was treating my mom like she was a student of his. And I almost got his fucking fat ass fired for that type of shit and then another day like when I was in Mrs. Taco's class um, the teacher like we were supposed to do something about I don't know write in your fucking handwriting book or something like that so I ended up having to write in my handwriting book and I wasn't doing that for some reason I kept getting to drink water every 10 seconds because I uh, didn't want to fucking do it so then Mrs. Taco was like okay go to Mr. Crap's um, classroom, so I was like, all right, I'll go to Mr. Cra I had to go to Mr. Crap's classroom, and I was like, hey, Mr. Crap, um, I got in trouble, now what am I supposed to do, so he, he fucking, I, I swear to God, this is what he did, he grabbed me by the shirt, and he was like, I know what just to do with you, ass, and he literally fucking made me sit down in the chair, and I just had to sit there like an idiot, fucking, basically like I was in one of those fucking stocks, if you don't know what that are, not the fucking stocks meme, but it's, um, Back in medieval times, they'd have those those things where it was like, you have to put your head and neck through the fucking wooden stocks. You have to like, go you just Google a picture of it if you don't know what it is. But anyway, I was in one of those things, and um, the teacher just says I was a bitch, a little bitch second grader. I made me cry, and he was just like laughing at me. He's like, "Oh, look at his ass!" Like, shut the fuck up. What are you doing? He didn't say shut the fuck up, but he basically just like laughed at me. He's like, "Oh yeah, kids, this is what happens if you misbehave." I was like, "Fuck you, you dickweed! I'll come to your house and chop your dick off." And he was fucking. Another day, I cut a student in line, and like usually back in those days in second grade, if you did that. And the teacher would just be like, hey, don't do that. But this time, he got all fucking really angry and stuff. And he, and I was just like, he yelled at me for that. So then the next day, I remember, yeah, no, that day, I remember, like, after he did that, then um, I fucking, what did I even do? I think I said, like, okay, okay, sorry. And then he was like, my draw attitude. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't know why I make him talk like he's black. He wasn't black. He was white as fuck. 
I don't know what his problem was, but I think the teacher must have had some autistic disorder or some shit. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. A very good day, and I'll see all of you guys soon.